The search for gold all comes down to this. USA versus Mexico. Team USA solidifies their spot in the final. Now they face their biggest rival, Mexico. The Gold Cup Final, live from the Rose Bowl, Saturday, 8.30 Eastern, only on Fox Soccer. Well, that is what they're playing for. Welcome back in. This is your coverage of the 2011 CONCACAF Gold Cup Final. The United States of America taking on Mexico from Pasadena, California, which was the epicenter of the World Cup in 1994. I do remember it well. Welcome back in. It remembers you. I, I, I think so. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Eric went on to Christopher Sullivan, Stuart Holden here with me. All right, let's start talking about some of the uh, Gold Cup facts when we talk about the United States and Mexico. This is their sixth meeting between these two teams in a final, and they've always been good. Yeah, I mean, the, obviously you can see the rivalry there, not between not only the players, but between the fans and, and everybody involved, and that's what makes it so special to be a part of something like this. And you're going to see that today. And, you know, we were here six hours before. There's already a buzz around the parking lot, and, the, and all the fans are getting geared up for it. Well, and all time, all time in this, it's, it's, you know, Mexico leads three and two. In finals. And, well, and that, yeah, I'm not going to, we're going to start talking about that 2009 result because yeah. that happens to be a bitter memory for you. It was 0 0 at the half. What happened? Yeah, I mean, it was just one of those games where it was a tight game in the first half and I think we just ran out of gas we we had a young team of 11 players made their first cap that that tournament one of them being me and you know we, we gave away the penalty kick a, a red card and from there on out it was you know it was uh, something that but you got some good moments yeah, yeah. Wrong is, that, is that goal it, probably one of your better goals that, you, that you've had in, the, in, in your life <laughs> <laughs> yeah the one against Haiti uh, is probably the best goal I've scored and it meant a lot for us to, to get through the group with uh, you know at, at the top and then you know as we made, we made our through, way through the tournament we grew as a team and uh, obviously culminating in the final that most of us would uh, like to forget well, it does happen. It does. I mean, it, it happened to me as well. I mean, we had to go down to Mexico City and, and lose 4-0 in a final. I think that was 1993. Didn't feel good. But, yeah, but these, these games are always special. Yeah, but I think the interesting thing in the 2009, to put it in context, Mexico was at an all-time low. Their fans were very disappointed. The fans in Mexico and here in the United States, Vasco Aguirre had taken over from Sven Goran Eriksson, and they had hit bottom. So they, they sent their best team, their most informed team. The team that Stewart was on had more of a, a B or C type of feeling. Bob Bradley had sent home players like Charlie Davies. Uh, I think today we're seeing a new generation of Mexico, young players that played under Chucho Ramirez, a whole cadre, like five or six, seven, eight great players. And then you see a very strong United States that's starting to peak, so it makes for a great final. Well, history doesn't bode well for the Mexicans. They've always struggled yeah. on, when they play on, on U.S. soil. Let me ask you this, both of you, why is that? Why do they struggle? Is it just because the United States, uh, by the way, we're a pretty good team? Well, I think uh, first and foremost, the, uh, both teams have a lot of quality. And when you're playing in the U.S., most of the time it's going to be a pro-Mexican crowd. We, you know, we've come to the come to grips with that. But at the same time, that kind of motivates you because we yeah. want to prove all these fans that have turned up to see a show from Mexico. We want to show them that you know we're the team to beat here. That the United States have quality. We have the talent, and that soccer is growing in the United States. Now, every time we and you've covered a, a couple of these, Christopher. I mean, it's always an occasion, and both teams are fired up for this one. Every time, you know, 2007 was amazing in Chicago because there was so much on the line similar to today a ticket to the confederations cup in uh before in south africa today it's huge because it's a ticket for 2013 confederations in brazil it gives you uh, a feeling of the landscape and getting right. ready for the tournament so the stakes are at an all-time high look for a very strong mexico and look for a motivated peak in usa well the stakes are always high they are playing for the gold cup we'll be right back we have to take another break when we come back, we're going to start breaking this thing down a little bit more. The Me Mexicans hoping to have the home crowd today. We'll see how those numbers work out. We'll be right back after the break. Stay with us. This is the GEICO MLS pregame show. 